spend some sort of personal reward, <sighs> some charity donation. Mm. Like the fucking tree planting across the fucking lake from us over here. To, to a load of fucking in. shit. And indeed has made it very clear on the department. They're all dead. Um, that the Commonwealth guidelines were complied with. It's just fucking Greenpeace is exactly the same as like the concreters and the so on and so forth. You know, we dig up a footpath and we re-concrete it. There was nothing wrong with the footpath. We just got to dig it up and re-concrete it. There's nothing to do. You know, we can make money somehow. Taxpayers pay for something that had nothing wrong with it. You know, the weird part is, after they re-concreted it, more graffiti on it than there was before. Actually, there was no graffiti on it before they re-concreted it. So after when they re-concreted it, someone went there and said, Ooh, fresh concrete. Time to do graffiti. But of course, that's not really the case, is it? Everyone knows that you just re-concreted it based on... Oh, I don't know. Some, some fucking crap about building a wall in Afghanistan or Libya. Um, so you advertise that. And uh, then the graffiti artists come along and do as they do. Deputy Premier unveiled Andrew Crisp as the replacement for Craig Lapsley. Mr. Crisp has 40 yeah. years experience with Victoria Police and is currently serving as Deputy Commissioner. There's not many jobs I would leave Victoria Police to do. However, to take on this significant role of Emergency Management Commissioner is actually one of those roles that, that I would leave Victoria Police for. He takes the reins from Craig Lapsley, who yesterday Half resigned by. amid allegations of serious bullying in a They get fucking 1800 bucks a week. I get 900 for doing nothing. While the new Emergency Management Commissioner says he's looking forward to the challenge. 